Well, hey there, everybody. Welcome again to another Facebook Live event here at Virginia Highlands Community College. I'm Adam Hutchison. I'm the president here at Virginia Highlands, and we're so glad you took a few minutes to join us this evening and learn more about our amazing welding program. Uh, we're going to talk to all sorts of folks this evening. We've got students and faculty. We'll hear from employers as well. It's going to be a great time, uh, but we want you to learn more about the, the uh, welding program here at Virginia Highlands Community College. Uh, you may or may not know that Virginia Highlands even has a welding program, but we absolutely do, and it's deeply connected to our community and the employers in our area. Students find great paying jobs, and there's just a ton of opportunity in this great career occupation right here in Southwest Virginia. So, without wasting any more time, let me tell you a few things about the program that you definitely want to know. First, as I mentioned, employment prospects are fantastic. Locally, statewide, even around the world, there's always work for welders. In fact, it's expected that this region will need about 600 welders in the next 10 years. I'll say that again, because that's a big number. 600 more welders in Southwest Virginia, Northeast Tennessee, in just the next 10 years, the job prospects are tremendous. The median wages for welders in this area are is about $40,000 per year, and most of those come with overtime and other benefits packages like health care and vacation time. Uh, it's a great career. It's not just a, a job. It really is a great career. And we have some wonderful employers right here in our area that are hiring welders now. Uh, employers like Electromechanical and Hapco and Wolf Hill Fabricators and Utility Trailers. And we'll hear from some more of those employers as we go through the evening. Um, as we have our little time here together, I want to make sure you know about the opportunities to connect with Virginia Highlands as we go. So right here on your screen is the comment box. Feel free to let us know that you're watching. Put a comment in there. Say howdy to us. Uh, my teammate Megan Copenhaver is keeping an eye on that chat box, and she's going to help me find a winner for this great water bottle. We'll send it to you, our gift to you for being a part of tonight's broadcast on Facebook Live. So thanks for joining us, but let's not waste any more time. Let's go right to the man of the hour, somebody I really want you to meet, and that's our faculty uh, lead in our welding program, Mr. Eddie Fultz. So, Eddie, are you there? I am here. Ah, fantastic. Good evening, Eddie. Thanks for joining me tonight to help us share the good news about our welding program here at Virginia Highlands Community College. Now, Eddie, help me... Help me here. I think you've always been a part of Virginia Highlands welding program. You were here from the very beginning. So why don't you tell us a little bit about your career path that brought you here to Virginia Highlands? Uh, certainly. I, I, I was in the uh, mining industry for 20-some years. And for just, just shy of 20 years, I was actually in, the, in welding and, and diesel mechanics uh, and logged about 6,000, just shy of 6,000 hours in the welding field, working on Komatsu and Dresser and Wabco and Drill Tech and Ingersoll and just all of those large earth moving uh, pieces of equipment, rebuilding and, and repairing and so on and so forth. And then later in life, I decided to make a career path change and went back to school to uh, get my, my degree and got to come was really fortunate blessed uh, in my view just totally blessed to be able to come to highlands and get hired here to put the first program in the welding program here at the college five years ago and we just graduated our, our fifth graduating class out in may of, of this year of 2020 so really really excited about the path uh and the opportunities that are afforded to be here glad to be here and everybody that's watching welcome well look we're thrilled to have you as a part of the vhcc family and what you've done to help build the program. And the way this community has really rallied around the program for the last five years is it's just terribly exciting. In fact, it's one of our fastest growing and most successful programs. And I'm thrilled that you're a part of it with us. So let's just jump right in, Eddie. If I was to ask you about the program and say, give me the elevator speech, what, what three or four things would you say about welding here at VHCC? Well, four bullet points uh, that I have actually written down to make sure that I get them in that I'd want everybody to know. Number one, you can complete the program in a year or less. Number two, welding is a career path for men and women. Uh, number three, we have a day and evening tracks that you can get on board with, day class, evening class. And our welding shop is truly state of the art 
equipment. That's fantastic. Now, something you said at the beginning there caught my attention. You said you could be on your way to a career in welding in a year or less right here at VHCC. Tell me a little bit more about that, about that uh, certificate option. Sure. We, we offer, a, in the day program, it's two semesters. It's fall and spring. Uh, in the fall, you would go through a level one training, and the spring will be a level two. And you get a career uh, study certificate for each. So you end up finishing the program with two career study certificates. You can continue on with a, with a track to do a technical studies associate's degree if you so elect to do that and do the proper gen ed. So that's available here at the college as well. The, the night program is fall, spring, and summer uh, to complete both tracks uh, and receive both of the career studies uh, certificates. So there's options day and night, uh, two or three semesters, uh, and you're ready to go to work. When you graduate, finish the program, you're ready to go work. What? Uh, it's amazing to think about uh, all those options. I can either do a one-year certificate, I can do it uh, a day or night, I can keep going towards an associate's degree, uh, and there's great employment opportunity on the other end. That's just tremendous. That makes the VHCC welding program uh, really a one of a kind in this area with all of those options available. You mentioned the state of the art lab. So we did a little video tour earlier with you, Eddie. I want to cut to that now and let the viewers tonight see the video that you made of our state of the art welding lab. I just want to take on a quick tour of what we have here and we'll, we'll just start and sweep around the room. Here we have a high neck DM10 compound uh, saw that we saw all of our metals here. Uh, and we can manipulate and do things that we want to do. It's a very, very neat machine. Uh, we come over to our Scotsman. This is our iron worker. Uh, we, can, we can do our shearing and our, and our punching and some bending and, and different components with this machine. Here we have a handheld plasma cutter. Uh, and, and this is a Hypertech, very great machine, handheld. And then we sweep right on around. Right here we have a Shop Saber CNC plasma cutter. Uh, that we can program and, and, and cut specific pieces and, and replicate uh, many of the same or whatever, do some custom things. If you come around to the welding, the welding shop here, we have uh, the Lincoln uh, C300 welders in every booth. They have 16 booths, they're all the same. Each student comes in, you stay in one booth the entire program, and you do all the processes, stick, meg, and tig, layman's terms. Uh, and, and you get to stay in your booth and we just change processes in the booth. Have our metal station back here. Uh, we have some, some great metals that gets donated to us and we so appreciate the people in, in the region and the area. Uh, we have, a, we, of course, we have a large door. We have a, an outside area bay to bring in our big trucks and, and deliver the metal. This is our Oxyfield cutting station right here. Uh, and we do some oxyfuel cutting and oxyfuel welding, uh, some, some fusion, some brazing, uh, and get to do that here. This is just a centrally located workshop. Uh, has some vices and some things on it, some tooling areas, uh, a lot of PPE protocols, safety, safety blankets, so on and so forth. Uh, and and this, this is state-of-the-art equipment. We do have all of our well stations or Clean Air America, uh, and so we have great ventilation. It's about 2,000 square or cubic feet per minute CFM air movement per student. Curtains are closed. Great brings the brings the smoke away from your face and into filtration system. So we have state of the art equipment here that we would love you to get on board and and come and sign up for classes here, day or night, two tracks, two programs. But we'd love to see you come and sign up. Eddie, that was fantastic! What an incredible lab! I loved it all the equipment, all the stuff that students get to put their hands on. And like you said, uh, those multifunction booths. So right from the beginning, students are holding a torch and wearing their helmet and they're getting hands-on instruction uh, in one of the best facilities to learn to weld in, in all of this area. So th thanks for giving us the nickel tour. But speaking of the skill set, can you talk for a minute about if I'm a student coming into the program and I get this great equipment, what kind of stuff do I learn? Actually, how, what do I learn to do? That's a great question, and I would love to answer it. Therefore, I'll say this. We're, we're, going, to, we're going to teach multi-processes. We're going to be teaching uh, stick, MIG, and TIG. That's layman's terms. Uh, shield and metal arc welding, 
flux car arc welding, gas metal arc welding, and gas tungsten arc welding, as well as oxyfuel. So there's a lot that, that goes on in, in the shop. Each one of the processes we teach to the AWS D1.1 structural steel testing. Uh, so we do, we're doing qualifiers, qualifying tests uh, to, to the specifications in the code, in the, the national code. Uh, but besides that, we actually teach to every process that you will go to get jobs for in this region. We teach to the hiring tests at the facilities that you will go to to get employment uh, in, in the area. Uh, we have a great relationship with them. Therefore, we know uh, whether they're doing one, two, or three uh, G position or a four G overhead. Uh, whether they want to do a flux core, whether they're you know they're doing a solid wire, they're doing thirty five thousand, forty five thousand. Just have a great relationship. So you get to do the things uh, and the exact tests that you will be taking to to do employment at the companies. And so we really provide the track and a comfort zone to where you've been there, done that before you have to go there do that. Eddie, you mentioned something that really uh, caught my attention, and that's that we are already training students to be prepared for the world of work when they graduate. Um, that relationship with employers is really important to you and to the program. Talk a little bit more about how we maintain and what that relationship looks like with employers. Sure. At the beginning of the fall semester, uh, with all normalcy the last five years, uh, we do a, a tour with a couple of the larger plant factories in the area that does a lot of hiring out of our student body graduates. Uh, within the first couple of weeks, we do a, to, a tour at a couple of different plants. You get to go in, meet HR people, uh, meet lead welders, uh, shop managers, uh, floor managers, plant managers. Uh, and, and you get to walk through and do a complete tour of their welding areas. And for students that have never welded before, you go in and you really don't know what to expect. And so it's a lot of a lot of things that you don't know that's going to be there. But then you fast forward to the end of the program and we take you back again uh, within usually three weeks before graduation. Somewhere in there, we schedule it to take you back after you've done all the processes, all the welding. And you go back with a different set of eyes because the thinking in behind it, the training in behind it, then you go back with a little critical thinking and it's kind of humorous to walk through. You, you get to be a critic of, of people's welds at, at companies that you walk through and look and you get to think, well, uh, maybe I can do almost that good or I think I could do one better than that. And, and all those things are just happening people because you understand where you're going and, and what you're looking at. And then other than the tours, we actually have the companies uh, that come on site and they come to our welding program and speak to our students and answer questions. Uh, they really bring us food. Uh, in any normalcy, they, they bring pizzas and, and whatnot and, and come in and just do question and answer sessions. And either on the tour or on the personal visits, they have tendencies to bring applications and say, please fill these out uh, on, on the spot if you would like to. So great, a lot of great opportunities are afforded but by, by just getting into the program with, with some of the hiring companies in the region. That's fantastic. I love that our students get exposure to the companies that they may work, uh, where they may work uh, at the beginning of the program and then at the end as well. And we keep that connection going all the way through. In fact, uh, just yesterday, I had the opportunity to go visit one of those employers right here in uh, Bristol and that's Electromechanical. We took some video of that visit to Electromechanical in Bristol, so we'll show that right now. I'm here at Electromechanical. They're one of our best partners with our welding program and some other things, but I'm here on site with uh, two of their employees to talk about some of the opportunities that exist because of the partnership between Virginia Highlands Community College and Electromechanical. So, first we're gonna talk to Laura Boardwine, and she's gonna tell us a little bit about the company. What is Electromechanical? Hi, Electromechanical is a privately owned business. Uh, we were started in 1958 here in Bristol. Uh, we also have Lime Power Manufacturing and we have Federal Pacific Transformer. Lime Power Manufacturing, uh, they build switchgear units and underground mining equipment. The Federal Pacific Division has electrical transformers and pad mount switchgear. So we're here at the company and giant warehouse behind us. Give me some of the things that are happening in here. What do some of the employees do on an everyday come to work basis? On an everyday come to work basis, we go from the ground up. We start with our welding program 
Our welders do all the boxes that we make, and from there they start the mining assembly or the custom assembly, where they run lots of wire and they create trans. They run that through transformers and switch gear and coils and all kinds of. Things. So, um, if a student is thinking, "Hey, this is a, a place right here in my hometown. I might be interested in a job there." What what happens here? that connects to Virginia Highlands. Are there skills that they would learn at Virginia Highlands Absolutely. that would help them here? Absolutely. We're continuously doing electrical type work as far as control wiring. We're doing full welding. MIG is our primary method of welding here. We're always looking for someone who has the ability to do horizontal welding, vertical and overhead. Uh, it's important that they understand how to read the mechanical prints uh, from the electrical perspective and the welding. Um, pretty much anything that's offered at Virginia Highlands, we would have an application here. Oh, that's fantastic. I got another question for you. Um, so we talked about some of the skills that you can learn at Virginia Highlands and how they'd apply at a place like this, but you've actually hired some Virginia Highlands Community College graduates. You don't have to give me any names. But is that working out okay for you? Those guys and gals being successful? They are being very successful. They are dependable, which is one of the key characteristics we look for. They're showing up to work when they should. They're here daily. Their skill sets are strong as they came in. They've grown since they've been here. So no complaints. All right, so I'm gonna, here's a, wrapping up here, here's kind of a question for both of you. If one of our students at Virginia Highlands or a potential student at Virginia Highlands says, Hey, I saw that video on Facebook. Why do you think electromechanical would be a great place to work? Laura, what would you tell them? We value our employees. Uh, we like to have local talent join our company. Uh, we appreciate all that they do for us, and that's exactly why we want them here. What do you think, Gary? If somebody said, why should I go to work at electromechanical, or, or should I go to work there, what would you tell them? Well, we offer stability for employment. We've been been around for many years, and since I've been here, which is 30 plus years, I haven't seen a layoff since I've been here. Incredible. So stability is extremely important in today's world. What a treat to be at Electromechanical yesterday. Thank you to Laura and Gary, who gave us the opportunity to talk to them a little bit more about how they're partnered with Virginia Highlands Community College and our welding program just a, a really special place, and I'm glad that we're a part of that relationship. Uh, before I go any further, here's a big shout out to Zach Ferguson. Zach, I think you were watching, or maybe you still are. Zach's coming in the fall to our welding program. Can't wait to have you as a part of the program, Zach. Congratulations. We've had some other folks express interest and have questions about financial aid. We're going to circle back to you. We'll make sure you get all the, the answers to the questions that you, um, that you have. We'll get you connected. But before I go any further, I want to talk about another one of our partners, and that's Utility Trailer. They've been in business now for more than 100 years. You see their, uh, their product going all up and down Interstate 81. They are known for, for producing some of the highest quality uh, tractor trailer trailers that go uh, all over the country and, and all over the world. And they have jobs right here in Southwest Virginia. Uh, they told us that within six to eight months, most of the welders at uh, utility trailers can earn more than $20 an hour right here. And they're a partner with Virginia Highlands. They've hired a number of our graduates. And so we heard back from Stacy Street, who works at Utility Trailer in their human resource department. And here's what she had to say about Utility Trailer's relationship with Virginia Highlands. The welding program has provided us with welders for quite some time. Eddie runs a top-notch shop. We know what skill sets to expect from graduates, knowing they came from the welding program at VHCC. We are very fortunate in our area to have such a close relationship with a college that is able to feed us excellent candidates. These candidates can, in turn, provide a great living for not only themselves, but also for their families. We appreciate Eddie and VHCC and can't thank them enough for being a benefit to our area. Stacy, thank you so much for those kind words. We're really proud of our relationship with Utility Trailers, and we're thankful for the opportunities that you give to our students. And with that, we are so excited to really introduce you to the star of tonight's show, 
one of our Virginia Highlands welding graduates, Matt Roten, is joining me. And Matt, I think you're on the other uh, other end of this camera. Are you there? Yes, sir. Sure. Awesome. It's so great to have you here, Matt. Thanks for joining us. I know you came straight from work, so let's just jump into it and talk a little bit about work. Where are you working and what are you doing? Well, right now I'm working at Habco in Abingdon. Um, I weld uh, aluminum poles and flag poles and stuff like that for all over America. And we do a lot of work for Canada and other countries too. Wow. So you went to work for Habco right out of school here at Virginia Highlands. Uh, yes, sir. That is fantastic. So um, can I just ask you a couple of questions about what you knew before? To ha had you ever welded before you came to Virginia Highlands? No, sir, I hadn't. Not so what kind, of, uh, what kind of application do you get from the kinds of things that you learned here in class and then you went to work at HAPCO? Did it line up? Did you, were you able to go to work and be productive? Yes, sir. I, everything that I, I put everything that I learned from the school and uh, being in class and it basically just carried over to my job. You know, it was just like being in school, but making money at doing it, you know, so it was pretty, pretty cool the way it worked out. That is pretty cool. And, you know, you, you just said something that I think resonates with everybody. People come to college, uh, obviously, for the education, but look, one of the goals is to get a good paying job on the other side. And, and right. you were able to find a good job right here locally in Abingdon with HAPCO. And now, Matt, people who know you have told me that you're pretty passionate about welding. So you feel like you found a new career? Oh, yeah. This, I'm going to do it for the rest of my life. I'm going to retire from, hopefully, I'm going to retire from HAPCO and you know, in 30 or 40 years, you know, I, I love it. It's, it's so gratifying getting to be able to see what you do with your own hands, you know, and coming from the background that I've had and being able to, to be proud of what I do. It's, I don't know. It's just so self gratifying. It, it's, 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 you can't even explain it really. So. Uh, that's fantastic. Now I've heard a term that I think you might be able to enlighten us with a little bit. And that's the idea of a brotherhood of welders. Is that something that you've encountered now that you're out in the workplace? Yes, sir. Um, I, when, when, when I came to school, we, um, you know, it was like all walks of life came into class, you know, people from different areas. And uh, some people were homeschooled. Some people were country boys. Some of us were, you know, just, just different people. And we all came in together as one. And we all, we got, all got along great. And we all keep in touch and it's, it's like a family, you know, so. Yeah, you know, I would expect, but you tell me a little bit more. I would expect that because the welding program spends so much time together, right? You've got the, the labs and you're in there working together and learning the same things. You've probably developed some pretty interesting relationships just from your time here at Virginia Highlands that now exist outside of the college. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. We, I've met some really good people and it, it's it, for, for the number one, like the instructor, Mr. Fultz, he is one of my closest friends, you know, and I didn't know him before, before the college. And he, I, he's one of the greatest people I've ever met, you know, and then a lot of the guys that I went to school with any other time in life, we probably would never cross paths, you know what I mean? But yeah. then, then we came to the college and we crossed paths and now we're all best friends. I mean, we all keep in touch, you know, might not talk to him every day, but we all talk at least once or twice a week just to see how each other's doing and make sure everything's still on the right, you know, the right track. So that's great. It's wonderful to stay connected. That, that yeah. kind of helps keep you motivated through the program too. Let me talk about, let me ask you a question about the program, Matt. When you came to Virginia Highlands, um, how much time did you spend in the lab actually working on stuff with your hands? I, a lot. <laughs> I don't, I can't really tell you exact amount, but we, you know, we would, we would come in some days we would do clap. We would do the book, you know, book work first and we would do it for an hour or two or a couple hours. And then, then we would go to, to our, to our booth. And then some days we would come in and just do booth work all day and get to do welding all day long. So it just depended on, on Mr. Fultz's discretion on what he wanted to do. But you, okay. It's, so it's not just theory, right? The welding that you learned here at Virginia Highlands wasn't just in theory. It was really practical, hands-on stuff. Oh well, yeah. Every, every day, you, every day you got hands-on. I mean, you might not have, every day wasn't the same amount, but every day you had hands-on welding. And then, you know, you learn other stuff and I don't know, it's just, you get a lot of self-responsibility if you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah. And, and it's, I don't know, it's just worth it to me, I think. 
Hey, I wonder, is there anything in uh, your classes here at Highlands, especially in the welding program, are, is there any content that when you got out into the workplace, you found that you were really well prepared to work in your new job because of something you learned at Highlands, maybe one of your skills or a particular course in the program? Oh, yeah. We, like, um, well, for instance, like we, I had to take CPR and, you know, and anywhere that you go, you have to know how to use, you know, you have to use the AED systems and all that stuff in case somebody has somebody, something happens to some, you know, something happens to someone on, on the work site. And then like um, we had, uh, we learned how to do plasma torch in, in welding. And I use, I use, it's called a bugo system, but I use it every day at HAPCO. And if I wouldn't have learned how to do the, you know, the plasma, then I wouldn't know how to do the bugo. So it all, it all like went hand in hand, you know, so that's great. It's pretty wild. <laughs> That's been, it, I'm sure it's a great feeling to walk into a job and feel like you know what they're talking about when they say, can you do fill in the blank? And you think, yeah, I learned how to do that at Virginia Highlands. Right. Yeah, it's, it's great, you know, because used to you would go into a job and you, you're having to start. And you're like, well, how do I do this and how do I do that? But when you if you come to if you come to class, if you if you take welding and then you go to any welding manufacturer you know anything that manufactures anything and you got to weld and you go in there and you already worked with these machines then you already know what you're doing you know you might have to learn their material but it's it's already it's already in your head you know so uh, that's fantastic all right a couple more questions for you real quick matt one i would ask is um if if you met a, a potential student on the sidewalk today maybe some student here on campus who said i'm thinking about going into welding and they asked you your opinion. What would you tell them? I I, I tell them it's a great it's a great opportunity. I mean, it's I I'm so lucky and glad that I did it. You know, I, I've made I've made something with myself. You know, and I I'm proud of what I do. You know, if if somebody asks me, they're like, well, what do you do for a living? I'm a welder. You know, and and they're like, you know, most people's eyes light up. They're like, Are you weld? You know, because it's right now it's a dying passion. There's not as many people. Like back in back in the eighties and seventies, people welded all the time, and now it's not. It's a dying profession, and and people are looking for them everywhere. So it's it would be a great opportunity to make money and to have something to to make a career out of and to to retire from in in the long run. You know, so yeah, that's terrific. All right, so this is going to kind of put you on the spot a little bit, Matt. But is it fair to say that the welding program at VHCC? changed your career and maybe even your life path oh yeah a hundred percent it i mean if it I, like i said if if i would have done made the move that i moved that i done or made to get in the position that i'm in now if i wouldn't have went to highlands then i'd probably be still flipping burgers at burger king or you know cooking at at perkins in bristol or something but now i have a career and i know that you know in 30 years from now i can retire and and not have to worry about where my next meal is coming from or how I'm going to pay my rent. And, you know, I've, I've, then I've worked for 30 years and made good money. So, Matt, man, just hearing you talk makes me so proud. I want you to know here at Virginia Highlands, we are so proud of you, not just because you've got a great job, but because of all the other things that you poured your life into as a result of your education here at VHCC. I know you came straight from work, so I won't keep you any longer. Thanks for joining us today, Matt. We are incredibly proud of you. Man, Matt, thanks again. I, I'm overwhelmed at your story and the success you've enjoyed, and it makes me really grateful for our team here at Virginia Highlands that was able to be a part of your story and your journey along the way. So kudos to you again, Matt. Well, look, you've seen a lot of information. We've talked to Eddie a little bit. We've talked to some of our employers. You've heard about the program. You've seen the labs, but... Um, all of these things kind of come together to, to really emphasize what a great program this is. We've got a great training curricula that's connected to employers. We've got terrific facility, quality instructors, uh, great jobs on the other end of it. But as you heard Matt talk uh, just a second ago, we've also got some really special students. Now, before I tell you a little bit more about our students, I want to remind you that in the comment section of the, of the uh, broadcast tonight, you can enter in your questions. I know some have started already typing in questions, and you can certainly do that. So put those questions in. We'll have some time here at the end of the broadcast to answer as many of those as possible. So now's a good time to drop those questions in the little comment box at the bottom of the broadcast. 
One of the other students that you didn't get the opportunity to meet tonight, but we certainly heard from, is a young man named Ryan Blankenship. And uh, we heard from Ryan. He sent in this great quote. He said, Eddie Fultz will teach much more than just wedding, welding. He teaches job readiness and priceless life lessons. He makes learning welding fun and easy. The people you meet in his class will also become some of your closest friends. Welding class with Eddie isn't just a class. It's an awesome experience that you'll never forget. Wow, Ryan. Uh, makes, if that doesn't make you want to sign up, nothing will. Um, Eddie, it, it's got to make it all worthwhile when you hear people like Matt talk or, or um, read the things that people like Ryan or uh, Laura, Gary, uh, Stacy, all these people that we've touched base with tonight. It, it's got to make you feel good. Um, when we think about what we're building here at VHCC, this culture of excellence and caring for our students. Before we go to the FAQ piece, though, I want you to tell us, Eddie, what makes the welding program so special from your point of view. Certainly. In the United States, in the projected next four years, it is projected that there is needed 600,000 welders in America. Now, Dr. Hutchinson spoke earlier about needing 600 in the next 10 years in this area. Uh, and so if you stay in the area, that's great. You know, stay at home. We love to keep you close. But if you like to be nomadic, welding is, is all across uh, America and, and across the world. And as I teach my students, welding is welding is welding is welding. An amp is an amp in this nation and in another nation, in another city, in another town. Uh, electrodes are electrodes. The functionality is the same way. If you don't speak the language, you can pick up their gear. And if you learn how to use it, you can weld anywhere on, on the planet. Uh, so out, out of the 327 million people, out of the 600,000 currently uh, hired welders, 7.5% 7 .7 is female. When we come into the class, I have 16 slots. Out of that 327 million, I got 16 slots in day. I've got 16 slots at night. It's all I can house. So it fills up every year. I have not been here a year that my class didn't fill up. So number one, I encourage you uh, to, to get on board and, and, and sign up and, and, and get in one of the slots that are, that are left at this, at this time. But as far as the classroom is concerned, I think Matt was talking earlier, you know, I, I teach a brotherhood. I talk about there's a common denominator uh, if you know anything about math and don't want to scare anybody on you know, numerator, numerator and a denominator, the common denominator is welding. It's the reason we all come here. I'm teaching. You, know, you come to, to learn. It is the commonality that threads us together. No matter our race, creed, religion, habits, hobbies, genre, musics we love, or, and all those things that may differentiate us. When we come in here, what we have in common is a common denominator. We come to learn how to weld. And so everybody becomes your welding brother and sister. And so we do it as a family. Uh, in the classroom. Uh, I, I breathe that, I, I talk that, I teach that, but I also exemplify that and live that out in, in front of the classroom. Uh, I want it to be a culture to where, listen, we're an elite group. It is 0.17, that's 17 one hundredths of a percent is hired welders in America. There are more doctors and surgeons than they are hired welders. You become an elitist, you become an elite group. It's kind of a special thing to get to do to become welders and, and melt metal and marry it together and build things uh, that goes out in, into the population and in consumption and use in, in the population and citizenship. So it's an incredible thing, that's an opportunity of what, of what we get to do. 900,000 actually doctors and surgeons, I actually checked that number today just to make sure I was spot on uh, of the latest numbers. Uh, and so 600,000 welders, 900,000 doctors and surgeons, you become a part of an elite group. So in my classroom, I want to, I, I do say you are your brother's keeper. Uh, we're using PPE. We're using electricity. We're working with heat. Uh, I want us to look at one another and, and say, uh, you forgot to put your safety glasses on. If that were to happen, uh, we're big on our PPE, but we are human and make mistakes. And so I, I try to run a classroom to where we have relationships one with another and that relationship evolves and revolves around welding. Uh, and, and so it, it is a, a, a family environment, if you will, uh, as Matt said earlier, and as Ryan stated, 
Uh, a lot of the students keep up with each other after they graduate. They work at some of the same places. They barbecue on weekends. Those relationships happen like they do in other college courses and things that you can do. But we definitely love to do that in, in class. Uh, you know, my class may be guilty of putting together funds put together by suggestion of one of the students to buy needy children uh, a, a gift at a certain time that they hear about in the community. If it's student led, man, I just let people do things that, that speaks into the community and, and, and helps each other and causes a certain amount of camaraderie. So I'm passionate about it. I get excited for August to come because I don't know who's coming. I do start looking at my roster. Uh, I, I try to creep on you on Facebook, maybe. I, I am excited about who's coming. You never know until you walk in and then you get to enjoy those those people when they come to class. So sign fantastic. up and get ready because we're oh, going to have fantastic. fun. No matter what's well, going on on the planet, we're going to have fun come to class. You know, you, you've built a great culture, not only a culture of, of learning and uh, talent in the classroom and in those welding booths, but really a culture of caring. And I know you support one another, you care for one another. Students that come into the class in our welding program here, uh, you're not alone. It really is a brotherhood, a sisterhood. We're going to lock arms. We're going to get you to the finish line. So if you're thinking about a career in welding, know that you're going to enter into a culture of caring where you can be a part of something really unique. We've got a few questions in the FAQ. So Eddie, stay with me, um, and we'll go through those together a little bit. And I want to make sure we've got all the things uh, covered. Um, somebody asked, when does the next cohort start? It starts on August 31st is when our Next fall semester begins, but you heard him talk about there's only 16 slots in the day and 16 at night, and those are filling up quickly. So reach out to us right away. You can uh, message us in the comment box here. You can find us on the website. You can call us on the phone number. We'll connect with you. Get signed up as soon as possible. Somebody else had asked about the price tag for the program, and let me just start by saying it's really affordable. It's about $157 a credit hour. And that may sound uh, nebulous or hard to define, but let me put it this way. Almost 85% of Virginia Highlands Community College students receive financial aid and financial support to come to college. You're not going to have to do it on your own. Meet with one of our counselors, advisors, and financial aid teammates, and they'll help you maximize your financial aid award. We'll connect you with scholarship opportunities. You don't have to pay for the whole thing out of pocket in most cases. Um, we'll make sure that you've got the best opportunity to succeed. If you're interested in the program, we're going to get you to the finish line. Um, Eddie, let's talk for a second about COVID-19. Obviously, that's changed the world a little bit. Um, VHCC will be primarily online this fall. Most of our classes, uh, about 75% of our classes will be online only. But your program, the welding program, is going to have some face-to-face -face content because you got to practice those welding skills. Can you give people an idea of a little bit how the program will work this fall? Certainly, glad, glad to answer that question. Uh, as Dr. Hutchinson was, was saying, you know, we're gonna have an element of curriculum uh, lecture as we call it here in, in the system, that's gonna be online. We're not gonna be doing the lecture portion from curriculum uh, from the book or an online uh, data form of the book. Uh, we're not going to be doing that on site. We'll be doing some instruction in the lab because you'll still be coming to the welding shop and applying the things that you learn uh, from curriculum and from videos and, and things like that. So there is going to be an online element uh, that can be time friendly. Uh, sometimes it can actually be a, a, a benefit to be able to do a portion on, online and have different time constraints that you can fulfill some of those things and not in the classroom. Uh, so we still will be meeting uh, face to face, uh, but we will we will be doing that in accordance to the necessary protocols, safety protocols, uh, to do that effect effectively and safely here at the college. You know, and and we're very fortunate in our lab uh, to have the booths that we walk into close the UV ray uh, curtains and turn on our uh, smoke extraction units, moving that two thousand cubic feet a minute per hour. That really puts us in an area that we are, we are highly protected uh, in, in the scenario of just being in our lab. So we, we think that's going to be a great positive for our welding students. So it that's will be, great. if you will, a hybrid. Uh, about a third will be lecture uh, online uh, portions, and about two-thirds will be in, in a lab, in the welding booths, applying what you learn. 
Thanks, Eddie. I know you've worked really hard to prepare um, our course for this fall and make sure that every student gets the same quality of instruction as they would have received if they could have been on campus the whole time. The good news for all of our students is you can stay here at Virginia Highlands, stay safe while you study, and still get the skills you need to be a successful welder in this program. Uh, so we saw those questions come through about costs and some other things. Just a reminder, about 85% of our students receive some kind of financial aid. Yes, these courses uh, will be taught in a hybrid format of online and face-to-face. -face. Classes start on August 31. So before we go any further, um, when the spots are gone, they're gone. There's only 16 daytime slots, 16 nighttime slots, so please don't delay. Reach out to us. Let us help walk you through the process of applying, registering, getting connected to Eddie and the program. So if you're ready for a new career, a new you, and a new opportunity, let's talk about the things that you have to do. Two steps uh, to do to get connected to the program. First, apply to Virginia Highlands Community College. Uh, visit vhcc.edu and apply online. And then you have to enroll and grab your spot. So it's first come, first serve. You'll enroll by visiting vhcc.edu forward slash ready to enroll. And from there, we'll help connect you to, um, to an advisor, either by telephone or we can even do the advisement online via Zoom or other online tools so that you can sort of have a live chat or a video chat with an advisor. They'll walk you through the financial aid process, the application process. Look, the most important thing you need to know is you're not alone on your journey through this process. Reach out to us right away, get your application in, and then turn around and get that enrollment process going so you can be a part of this great program. All right, now, we've had a great time tonight. Eddie, I want to say a big, big thank you to you for giving us some time this evening. A shout out to our students. Matt was a part of the broadcast. Ryan was too. We also had Gary and Laura from Electromechanical, uh, Stacy from Utility Trailers, uh, sending some information. What a treat for us. And a big thanks to all the people behind the scenes to make a broadcast like this work. But a biggest thank you to you, the people who stop and learn more about our welding program here at Virginia Highlands Community College. Fall 2020 is going to be fantastic. And the welding program might just be the right place, the best place for you. So go visit us online, vhcc.edu. Click on Ready to Enroll, set up that appointment, and come visit us soon. We can't see you. You can start here.